Oh yeah, guy. You know what Aya needs to sustain herself is some more bullets. Bullet! Wooly bullet! Wooly bullet! Wooly bullet! I like my remix. I think it's good. You can't dissuade me otherwise. Alright, so... Maybe I could get the good ammo this time. Because we're about to fight some dudes. And this is the lame ammo, right? I got the ammo Because we're going to go down into the arc. And we're going to kill. And we're going to win. Ah! This, oh, this is the, the better stuff, but I'm not buying it. Um, oh, the Magnumanamanu. Uh, riffle though, that's what I want. Oh, okay. And grenades, because, oh yeah. <laughs> I used quite a few, didn't I? Uh, they're fun, okay? Like, you're wrong, not me. Now, let's go save Arinsky. I need to help. Okay, just away. Alright, so we need to go downstairs. Things will be great when we're downstairs. If I remember correctly, there is no save point down in the arc. I don't think there is. You pretty much, you gotta come back up. <sighs> the arc. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be really good. It's gonna be two of everything. You're gonna love it. I wanna save in the laboratory. So we're right across the street from the arc of Riki. Ricky Racky arc! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lift here. Go down. Downtown. Alright. Now the arc. So we're gonna go down there. We're gonna spend some time down there. We're gonna be there a while. I would say we're like halfway, a little more than halfway to the end. And it's, it's really just that I feel the need to kill every monster on the map that makes the game as long as it is because it's, it's not that long. I really I really don't think it's that long. But I make it long by committing murder on everybody. I did get everybody. I killed them all. Wait, I didn't go back to Dryfield. What if Dryfield has dudes? Dryfield, I don't, th I don't think Dryfield has dudes. I think I've killed them enough, so. And if not, I won't get my awesome total bounty points and that'll be sad, but wait, uh, Drop some stuff off. Ah, oh, the toilet. I have so much of it. Disposable. I don't want to go into Berserker. I don't understand that. Why is it good? Why do people like it? I don't want to use my ringer solution. You know what? But I don't want to leave it down here. I'll forget about it. Um. I want my ringer solution for the last boss. It'll do. Okay, now let's save Arini. Let's call home. See what they got to say for themselves. Baldwin. This is bigger than we thought. And you think he's just sitting there with a gun? I'm gonna go take this to HQ. Continue with your investigation. Really, that's all play data. I've killed uh, nearly a C worth a dude see in Canada anyway shut up uh, I've never escaped I've killed them all every time we've only done 209 battles I have saved quite a few times and then yeah really oh we're no 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 wait wait where yeah there's us there's the rifle it's got a little ways to go from my bad decisions I do like that one. We will soon have the opportunity to steal one of those. Uh, oh, plasma. Doing it more than healing. Combustion. Pyrokinesis. It's looking good. Looking good. Oh, yeah, I guess I should revive some of those, shouldn't I? Later! I did it! I went to mass! I did it, and then I came home and I had a I had a food, and I I went to sleep, and now we're gonna go to the ark. Um, I did beef up all my weapons, right? I did. Let's go. Oh 
man. I was, uh, I was driving back from Mass. And I was like, oh, you know, I'll go get some groceries there, bud. And then this migraine hits me and I'm, hey, yeah, never mind. Hey, yeah, do you read? Just confirming you can use that lift there. Well, yeah, I turned it on, bud. Roger. Okay. Look, I got this covered. Anyway. So I got this brutal migraine. Yes, we'll go down. And then I'm like, uh-oh. I shouldn't drive with a migraine. And so I need to stash migraine pills in the car. Excuse me, sir. Yes, come in. Oh my gosh, they did the voice acting. What is it? They did a little bit. A report from the mole we sent into that organization, sir. Yeah. He's found it. Who's the mole? What organization? We've got. They've got. I see. Well. Destroying the target would be difficult, but there is another way. They're talking about the baby bag. This is going to be the most expensive abortion ever. Are you sure? We give you uh, whatever permission, just in case. Oh, yeah. D306? That SDI relic? It's our insurance plan only. If I must. You have permission. Thank you, sir. Congress doesn't need to be involved in this. I'm not sure that's how that works, sir. So, do we actually have space junk floating up there that's just a big-ass gun that can just be aimed at an elephant? Anywhere, at any time, by anyone who's just sort of... Got the power! Ready to shoot us. Was that a thing? And would they do it with a camera? Okay, so my question there is, okay, so I, th who's the mole? The organization is missed, right? I'm still always lost as to who the fuck Kyle is, because it ain't him. And are you supposed to be like, ooh, is it Pierce? It's not Pierce. Maybe it's Aya. She just doesn't know it. Testing, testing. Check, baby. One, two, three. Aya, can you hear me? Okay. I can't tell if she's face palming or not. Listen up. The magnetic barrier prevents tracking beyond this point. We talked about this. So you're on your own. You can do it. I don't need your help. And, uh, uh, Aya. Uh, never mind. I love your ass in those shorts. See ya. Okay, so. Pierce is a little bit. Dude, I don't need your help. But you realize that when he gave me the tracker, he could see whenever I ducked into the ladies' room. And how long I took. Like, if it was just a little stop for a wee or a Welcome full on drop. Newark. Welcome to Neo Arc. Enjoy natural environments recreated from around the world. Tropical rainforests. Coniferous forests. Savanna. Coral reefs. We don't get to see that. Tundra. Or that. Greenhouses for each climate. Reproduce temperatures, humidity, soil conditions, flora, and fauna. That's not true. Our new humans, ad our new humans adapt to each environment. We'll begin our tour with the savanna zone. Remember, some fauna are carnivorous. Please stay on the path. Alright, welcome to Jurassic Park. I like this. Palm trees grow up from below. This is some sort of shaft. Well, so, we're in the Neowork facilitoire. Choose a topic. Oh. I think we just did this. Oh, many of you already know that the NMCs appearing in NYC began as other organisms before their miraculous transformation. That is true. I do recall the rat. 
Thanks to the neomitochondrial telomerase activity, even cell aging is a thing of the past. Telomeres. What are telomeres again? Are, ten are telomeres the little bitty bit? Are telomeres the end of the chromosome where the DNA is all wound up? Or are they the little bit in the middle? I can't fucking remember. Hang on. No, this is bad. I have a biology degree, I swear! I've certainly read about this at least three or four times. Telomere! Wait, telomerase would be an enzyme, right? Terminal transferase is a ribonucleoprotein that adds a species-dependent telomere repeat sequence to the three prime end of telomeres. Okay, but what's a telomere? I forget. All right, listen, I don't work. In, I don't work in the thing I got my education in. You'd be, you'd be surprised how fast you forget that shit. Uh, the end. It is the end, right? Is a region of repetitive nucleotide sequences associated with specialized protein at the ends of linear chromosomes. Suck on that! I, except I wasn't confident, so it doesn't count. Uh, and that's the whole, like, aging maybe has something to do with the ends getting all frayed. That's super not exactly what it is, but something about that, right? Um, I think. At least the rat last time I actually, like, read a peer-reviewed paper, which it's not part of my life anymore. Uh, a drafter's pen has been at work on God's blueprints for life. <laughs> we were like, listen, God, we've had enough of this. We're tired of getting old and dying. Why don't you suck on this with your science? Science can defeat you, but that's, uh, I feel like that's always, uh, that's not how that works. We were at uh, this, this idea of science versus the god is not it i mean it belongs to him guys chill he's only gonna let you understand so much um fun to try though right ah the results are here for all to see the artificial nmc the future is bright for this latest step in human evolution no okay well that was cool creating an nmc creating an nmc first and externally why is this text green an externally controllable form of neomite. Oh, is it because it's off a computer? Form of neomitochondria. How do you control the mitochondria? Is placed on a vector virus and injected into the test subject. Okay, we already talked about that. The virus multiplies, carrying its genetic package to the host cells. Well, yeah, because that's the whole deal with a virus. Is they're like. Uh, are they alive or not? We're not sure because they don't fit the definition of alive because they can't reproduce on their own. They have to hijack your cell, dump all their junk into it, use your cell's reproductive technology to spit out more. That kind of like alien. You need they need uh, to put it in a nice warm somewhere to burst it out of its chest and then go do it again. Uh, stimuli are sent to the neomitochondria. Okay. Causing host neoteny. What does neoteny mean? I feel like that's a word that I have had to look up before. And I'm not sure if it's one that I should know. The retention of juvenile features in the adult animal. Uh, the sexual maturity of an animal while it is still in a mainly larval state. As in the axolotl. What? Neoteny in humans is the slowing or delaying of body development. Compared to non-human... So, like, when you take puberty blockers? Wait. Causing host neoteny. Slowing or delaying of bodily... Bo Why would we want to do that? Neoteny... Oh, it's right fucking there! The retention of juvenile characteristics in an adult organism. Eternal youth. Okay, but is neoteny the same? Uh, those are characteristics, right? So, are they trying to say, like, the youthful... Appearance that we have? Like... This is your appearance at 20. Let's just keep it like what Aya has, where she's like, oh, I look so young. Uh, the test subject's body reverts to a prepubescent state. Well, no thanks. I'm good. Uh, I've gotten used to my big tittos. Actually, I was looking down at my tittos at church today. Listen, this is not going to be a sexy story. And I realized that my left one is bigger than my right one right now. And I was like, what? And then I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, my left one is the one that has a lump in it that I'm uh, patiently awaiting a mammogram for 
even though I'm technically too young to like really get a mammogram. And the fun thing with that is I don't think they're going to call me before I switch provinces, which means I got to uh, find a clinic real fast and be like, hey, man, listen, can you just like just like get somebody with a like, can you just grab my tit for me, please? And tell me if I'm going to die. Uh, but the one tit is noted like noticeably bigger than the other one, at least from my vantage point. And I'm like, uh oh, Tittos. Meanwhile, like the priest is, is talking about something important and I'm looking down at my breasts going, uh oh, and that, that boob is particularly sore, but we are days away to the big, the big bleedola. So, you know, they change, they change, but I've gotten used to them, but I would not like to lose them. I've already cut them down a few sizes. Can we hang out? What was that like to not have tits? I feel like I started growing tits at like the age of seven, so like I don't really remember. The neotenized subject now has the growth potential of an infant, but you just made me go backwards. Why would I go forwards? Yet in our lab, they can freely choose how they wish to develop. Well, this is a, we're hearing a lot of this kind of shit today, aren't we, there, guy? Imagine if you could go backwards. Actually, I've decided I don't identify as an adult and I'd prefer to go back to being a kid. I can see that being a thing. I say that in jest right now, and perhaps offensively, but... That's going to be a thing one day. Not in our lifetime, I don't think, but... All we do is help the new ANMC adapt to his or her environment. And this way, evolution is achieved in a single generation. Not really... And on an entirely original organism. An ANMC is born. Well, in the laboratory, those ANMCs still in development are assisted with life support. The results from these group tests will allow us to perfect the procedure. Mental abilities not needed for daily life are suppressed to avoid host confusion. Oh, that's something we don't... Uh, ideally, mental activity will be permanently suppressed in all subjects save a few to promote cooperative group behavior that is true if you don't really think about things you're going to get along with other people because you don't have to think about the things that would normally cause you to be like fuck you bro um we've heard nothing but a hundred percent satisfaction from our now eternally youth to full test subjects is that because you suppress their ability to get question things uh amc breeds Touch the glass barriers in the testing area for guided tour. I like that that was fast. Oh, cancel. All right, well. So I guess the idea is, or at least what I always thought, was that they were like, come, get on the ark, become an ANMC, choose to do this, and you can be some sort of monster that doesn't think very much. You'll love it. Now, do they love it? Let's find out. We don't get to see all of those areas. Let's see. Is there anything in here? It's definitely something in here. Welcome to the Savannah Zone! Oh, it's a male voice. Well, I'm not a male. One residence of this zone is the AMC known as the Suckler. Hi, would you like to sign up for our 25-year amortization period of being the Suckler? Sucklers are mature and in a yachtnized state, looking much like infants. Those things we've been blowing up. Imagine always being held at your mother's arms. Always being loved. If this sounds... Well, where is the moms? Because I've just seen them crawling out from under beds and I've been stepping on them. It sounds like a good deal to you. You might want to join the Suckler side up today. Sucklers are different from other ANMCs in both shape and ecology. If their DNA weren't so similar, we'd think they were different species. What are the special features of the Suckler? I had to click again. In the developmental stage known as the Bone Suckler, they crawl in packs searching for prey. Where's the part where I get to be held in my mother's arms all day, though? When prey is found, a suckler will rapidly divert blood to its head, causing a cranial explosion. So I'm just going to kill myself? This is, I'm not being sold on this. The resulting shower of bone shards pulverizes prey for the rest of the pack to feed upon. Well, I mean, again, if you don't ask questions about your purpose in the group, like, you probably die for the group. Uh, after pupating, the suckler leaves its larval state and becomes a winged adult mind suckler. Oh, the dumb birds. Yeah. From the air, the mind suckler finds prey and uses its ovipositor. 
like a dick for women, basically. To fire larva into the prey's head region. <laughs> oh, man. The larva parasitizes the host cranium, leading the host to the larval bone suckler nest. Oh, that's kind of rad. After the host is consumed, the larva exits the safety of the cranium. Now a full-grown bone suckler. This kind of complete metamorphosis and altruistic behavior is seen in higher insects such as ants. Is it? I didn't do entomology because that's gross. The group society that the sucklers epitomize might be one possible future for human evolution. I don't think so, bro. We disagree on everything. Due to their delicate skin, sucklers only move by night. We apologize for any inconvenience. What about the part where you might be the guy whose head blows up? What about that part? Why does anybody care about this? Let's see what else there is to see on this freak show. We're going in here. Welcome to the world of the Amk. Keep your eyes open for bouncing ANMCs with big ears. These are scavengers. Oh, those creepy carnivorous bunnies. They may be small, but they have big appetites and can eat carrion. The garbage men of the forest. Mm. Well, they form packs to hunt weaker prey. They are not effective fighters. I don't know. They kick my ass pretty good when they do those sick kick flips. Since they are largely nocturnal, you won't often see them during the day. Scavengers. Those things strip my car! Yeah, we got a score to settle. The vegetation is very dense here. The vegetation is very dense here. Okay. What a desolate place. More of the desert. More of a desert than a savanna. The fuck is the difference? Creatures? Oh yes, creatures. Let's see. Really? You guys? Now what kind of things are these? They are Jim Carrey horsemen. The Jim Carrymans. This, this area sucks for this. This sucks a lot. It's not really a good screen. Made you purple. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> How about that? Oh, I scared my rabbit. Oh no! Scorpionators! Okay, this is just. I feel set up. This is some bullshit right here. Just getting, just getting crapped on by ANMCs all over the place. Why don't you guys suck my dick? Get off me. You guys were dumb enough to sign up for this program. I'm gonna kill you with my more awesome powers where I gotta keep my decision making abilities. How about that shit? Now what? Oh my goodness, the rabbit was freaking out and I was like, what is happening? And I was like, oh no, is the rabbit dying? And it's just that I had some soup and I put the pot, yes, I drink it, I drink it. Eat it, spoon it even, directly from the pot because it's just me. I put it put it down for the cats after because they like to lick the cream. And the rabbit was like, Ah, what about me? So I had to get him something. Now we've entered Crazy Town. Giant carvings. They look like Egyptian deities. And, uh... Oh shit, I can't wait to fuck with this. Ugh. It's okay, we'll do it. Uh, we gotta do three. Is there anything in here? Maybe. This, this is a large stone box in the hole. No good. It's too heavy to move. Don't worry. We will. So. There are solutions. A shrine engraved with hieroglyphs. They are each surrounded with different colored frames. I wonder what they mean, man. Ugh. I'm ready to do some fucking puzzles. Ugh. So I just to get them over with. Three fucking puzzles. Okay, watch. I'm gonna really fuck this up. But we'll give it a shot. Um, I feel pressure now. Let's do it. Um, let's see what falls into place first. So mostly I just sort of hang out. 
and just keep keeping at it until wait I haven't I don't have like a plan for this or not anything like that I just sort of you know like just sort of go with the flavoozle there and then I get stuck because I'm like well that's not what I wanted I hate the people that come up with these puzzles I think they're mean and they're stupid because they're too smart it shouldn't be like this shouldn't have to do this shit don't want to. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Ugh. This is one of those things where you're like, should I just look it up? Did I do it? Oh, good. I did the one that just means we get in a fight. Fucking can't wait for this shit. Hi, guys. I'm so glad I, I forgot about these things. These things are irritating. They just sort of... As long as they on their back, they're okay, but... Man, they're kind of annoying! And kind of drabla! Ah, oh, I kill you! But you need that for your bounty and to get your all that good shit. Alright, let's try again. Oh, fuck no, not when it's all screwed up. That ain't my jam, man. Oh, hang on. I'm locked in, I tell you. I do like this. Eh. I have escaped. Okay, do I have to do one to open? I feel like I have to do one to open the door over here. Or can I just proceed? Can I just go in? It's fucking locked. Now I gotta do one of these. So there's one that opens, that moves this thing, the box. You open the box, ah, my nipples.